escalating tensions with or without visits. There have yeah. been previous high-ranking visits. Um, the, the vice uh, president of the European Parliament, if I... Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, other countries, right? Yeah, yeah. Sure. remembering correctly. Um, she came to Taiwan and nothing happened. Uh, right. No one cared. Uh, so China just chose to zero in on this one of them and say, like, this is why we're angry. This is what caused it. Uh, which is kind of like an abusive husband, like, you know, pointing to one specific thing and saying, like, this is why it's abusive. Well, it's because you're abusive. <laughs> yeah. I mean, even after Pelosi, you were already, we had another U.S. delegation in Cambodia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, um, on another day, uh, August 15, he wrote and said, it is with good pleasure, uh, with great pleasure, that I sent you a monitoring letter. Um, oh, it was August 13. Uh, he listened to Face Meets West. Uh, Summer for Kids is over, and a song called Mango. It's Mango. Okay, so um, basically this Face Meets West program, it's a free program, and um, Andrew Ryan has divided into uh, three or four courses. So the first course was Bad Run Mango. That's like one of the sweetest, you know, mangoes that we have here in Taiwan. Uh, he played a song called Ice Cube. Okay. And then the second course was Mango Popsicle. Gosh, <laughs> And, and a song was called an ice cream cone, I think it's cone. And in the third course, eating popsicles with Ellen, Ellen's daughter. Oh, oh, so I guess she brought her daughter in the show with them and had uh, this popsicle together. All right, good for them. If you're going to have mangoes, uh, and it's a thing not to bring your children. <laughs> that's true, that's true. It's for ice cream, especially. Right. And it says here, my color from the program. This is my first monitoring letter in August. I just learned that I wouldn't come from Irwin from today's program. As you said, in the program, mangoes are not associated with USA, so it was a bit of a surprise to me. In its professional baseball season, fans are finally allowed in the stadiums in Japan, and for one of the professional teams, Fox stands by its cheerleaders got very popular. Then there come many articles from sports newspapers, Japanese tabloid papers, that cheerleaders from professional sports teams are very popular in Taiwan. Oh, yeah. And featured in... Okay, I didn't get that. Um, is that true? Okay, yeah, we do have cheerleaders, yes. Um, are there any popular cheerleaders equivalent to Naked Girls or Slash Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders? Which are, like, uh, popular in cheerleading the... squads for, like, big teams. Uh, in, the state, in, right? in, 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 in the NBA, yeah, I think. Oh, okay, um, yeah. Okay. Ah. Maybe. Um, I'm not good at sports. Right, and I don't think that was as big as it is in the States. Ah, yeah. uh, thank you. It's pretty big here. I mean, like, a lot of young that's men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, young I thought... guys in Taiwan love basketball. Oh, that's true, that's true. I don't think that's going to speak up anyway. Okay, so thanks again. That was uh, Mr. Norihiko Ide of Japan. Uh, thank you very much for your letter. Um, I also have two reports from uh, Jayanta uh, uh, Chakrabarty. Um, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, who sent us the, uh, his first report on August 8th. Uh, so again, Father's Day in Taiwan. is not too rare to report. Yeah. Um, who uh, listened in on 4, uh, 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. at uh, the reception quality was 43344. Um, and the letter that follows reads, um, under the background of China's unprovoked and unwarranted threats and blackmailing with the full force of its military might, the government and the patriotic citizens of Taiwan have condemned and most concerned as President Xi Jinping and the belligerent moves. That was the last time radio. Uh, it has been reported that China is extending the military exercises beyond Sunday. Um, they were extended by one day, if I'm not mistaken, um, or two days. They, I think they wrapped up on Tuesday. Uh, um, though at present there is a lot of pressure on the island's defense systems, but the country remains united, calm, and resolute in defending democracy and freedom. It was heartening to hear from RTI that in this hour of crisis, lawmakers of all political affiliations have come together to offer viable solutions. While suggesting a policy of toughness with China, there is also a call for open dialogue between the parties and the U.S. The latest show of force by China will not only destabilize peace in the region, but also have direct effect on other countries in the Pacific, like the region, like Japan. 
as a devoted listener of RTI for a long time, I pray and wish that the situation returns to normal again in the close faith uh, and Taiwanese citizens can live in peace and harmony and without fear. Um, uh, I would be grateful if my above report is verified with a simple false report. We'll pass that along. Um, there's also very quickly another reception report from August 15th, uh, the following week.